feeling I just can't explain When you're near I'm just not the same I try to hide it Try not to show it It's crazy How could it be? I've fallen for you Finally My heart
Somehow nothing would seem so wrong here If they'd only realize That I was born for you And that you In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. My dear friends, today we are gathered here to witness as Joseph and Bernice declare their permanent commitment to love and honor one another. They have asked you to share this moment with them, which is one of the happiest and the holiest in their lives. Let us thank God for bringing them together in love, and let us pray to Him that He may, in a very special way, consecrate their marriage. So now, let us join Joseph and Bernice in prayer as we become part of their celebration of life together from this moment onward. First reading, a reading from the book of Sirach, chapter 26, verses 1 to 4, and 16 to 21. Happy the husband of a really good wife. The number of his days will be doubled. A perfect wife is a joy of the husband. 
he will live out the years of his life in peace. Let our response be, Happy are those who fear the Lord. Please repeat. Happy are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways, for you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Happy shall you be and favored. Happy are those who fear the Lord. A reading from the book of Tobit. When Tobias and Sarah were alone behind closed doors, Tobias got up from bed and said to his wife, Get up, dear. Let's pray for the Lord to be merciful and to protect us. Sarah got up so that they could pray together and ask God for his protection. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Live on in my love. You will live in my love if you keep my commandments. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and live in his love. And this I tell that my joy may be yours and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Good afternoon to you, Joseph and Bernice, and to all your family and friends whom you have specially chosen to witness your covenant of love with God on this your wedding day. Bernice, you look absolutely beautiful today. And Joseph, you're looking okay and very lucky today. Joseph was first to arrive here in church before most of us. And before we start this, ce this celebration, I shook his hands and I noticed they were sweaty and cold. And he's really very nervous. And that's a good sign that he's getting married for the first time. For Bernice and Joseph, walking down this church aisle and standing before this altar is a dream come true and a prayer answered. I have also noticed Bernice and Joseph's parents bearing proud smiles as they march them down the aisle. You know, every son or daughter's wedding day is a parent's crowning moment. I'm sure that as they walk down the aisle, images of life as a gift flash across in their minds. And today, God is thanking Joseph and Bernice's parents for wonderfully and lovingly fulfilling the mission he has entrusted to them. And for this, we congratulate them. Let's give them a warm applause. There are tears in the eyes of Joseph and Bernice's parents because today pray their goodbyes. Our son, our daughter, God be with you as you continue your journey to Him. So Bernice and Joseph, in a few moments, you will be hold hands and look at each other lovingly in the eyes and exchange commitments. And look in each other's eyes and saying, I love you, is the easiest thing to say and do when you are madly in love. So each time you fill up with joy and as you look with each other, look to God and be, give thanks to Him because He's the source and giver of that happiness and that joy. Lord, you have given Joseph and Bernice through your son Jesus the gift of light that brightens their path. Bless their lives with the warmth of your presence and the light of your wisdom as symbolized by these candles that they may also lead others to your truth and love. My dear Joseph and Bernice, 
You have become together in this church before God and His Christian community to make an irrevocable promise to live for one another, to share your love in, in oneness, in mutual dedication, sacrifice, and responsibility. You stand by here today in solemn reaffirmation of love for each other. Christ abundantly blesses this love. And through the sacrament of matrimony, He enriches and strengthens you so that you may carry out the duties of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. Let the love which you have patiently nurtured be the foundation of your life of commitment. My dear parents and sponsors and brothers and sisters, may I ask you to join Joseph and Bernice in prayer that they may, with the courage and confidence in God's unfailing grace and love, make the pledge of love and fidelity to one another. Joseph and Bernice, I now ask you to answer truthfully the following questions. Bernice, did you come here today of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your husband? Father. Joseph, did you come here today of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your wife? Yes, Father. Are you both ready to raise as good Christians the children whom God will give you? Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Joseph and Bernice, since it is your intention and desire to enter into holy matrimony, I ask you to join your hands and express your intentions and promises to love each other before God and His Church. Bernice, do you take Joseph here present for your lawful husband? According to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church. Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to Him as His wife? Yes, I do. Do you accept Him as your lawful husband? Yes, I do. Joseph, do you take Bernice here present for your lawful wife? According to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church. Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to her as her husband? Yes, I do. Do you accept her as your lawful wife? Yes, I do. Joseph and Bernice, please state your pledge of love and commitment to each other. I, Joseph, Thank you, Bernice, the love of my life, to be my wife, my partner in life, and my one and only true love. I will cherish the love that we have for the rest of our lives. I will trust you and honor you. I will love with you and pray with you. I will love you honestly, faithfully, and eternally, to the best and the worst, to the difficult and the easy. I promise to be always be by your side. She fulfill every dream and aspiration we have for our lives together. I promise to devote my life to you and the children that the Lord will bless us with. I ask the Lord to make us one heart and soul from this day onward. With all my love, I give you my life and all that is meaningful to me. I release, take you, Joseph, the love of my life, to be my husband, my partner in life, and my, own, my one and only true love. I will cherish the love that we have for the rest of our lives. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will love you honestly, faithfully, and eternally, through the best and the worst, through the difficult and the easy. I promise to be always by your side as you fulfill every dream and aspirations you have for our lives together. I promise to devote my life to you and the children that the Lord will bless us with. I ask the Lord to make us as one heart and soul. From this day onward, with all my love, I give you my life and all that is meaningful. Your 
Grant us, O Lord, to be one heart and one soul, for better or for worse, for rich or for poor, in sickness and in health, from this day forward, for all eternity. Joseph and Bernice, you have pledged to live as husband and wife in Christian marriage all the days of your lives. Your families and friends here present join you in praying that God may continually place His seal in your bond marriage. This is our prayer. And may the Lord who is faithful to His promise deepen your love for each other and fill your lives ever more fully with His blessings. And I, by the authority of the Church, calling on all those present here as witnesses, confirm and bless the bond of marriage which you have contracted. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. blessings will no longer be held separately but together above all may you always remember that whatever gifts you will have in the coming years are ultimately not yours but God's as such you are enjoined to use them to praise and glorify him in his life Bernice accept this area as a pledge my dedication to our home, my support and concern for the welfare of our family. Joseph, I accept them as a symbol of our generosity, sincerity, and faithfulness. I'll treasure and use them well in order in order to build a Christian, truly Christian home. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Everything in this world, all that I'll ever need is 
look in your eyes I'm lost inside your kiss I think if I'd never met you About all the things I'd missed Sometimes it's so hard to believe When a love can be so strong And faith gave me the strength And get me going on Let us pray. O Lord God, we thank you for having every one of us participate in this very important event in the life of Bernice and Joseph. Father, by your command of perfect love, the two has become one, and may the fulfillment of thy command bring happiness and prosperity to the new couple. Bless the feast that we are now to partake, 
and may this sum to his offering become true to their everyday, everyday life. Lord, perfect them in love as husband and wife, and may remain faithful to each other in good times and in bad, that they be honest and make good their pledges and promises. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy This is to Joseph and Bernice for many years of happiness and laughter and even more happiness. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. I had given away Bernice with the fullest hope that by so doing I also gain a son in the person of Joseph. And this, I would like to remind Joseph that for the long period of 26 years, I took care of Bernice with all the love a mother could shower her. Now you have her, and from here on, you have to continue the loving care that should be accorded her. During your period of adjustment, you must realize and always remember that God gave you to each other to be one. You are to build a family of your own, and this family should be dedicated to the purpose of God. For a man and a woman to live together as one, that is husband and wife, God should always be between you so that all trials that you may encounter would be overcome. Understanding, patience, humility, and proper communication are the factors that will help you keep yourselves together. Go on and be happy. We are here behind you. Congratulations to the new couple and thank you again to all of you. Maraming maraming salamat sa uh, pagdalo nyo sa kasalang anak namin si Bernice saka si Joseph uh, sana Joseph uh, alagaan mo mabuti si Bernice katulad yung pag-aalaga niya pag-aalaga ni uh, mama niya at saka ako na alam mo na kahit papano hindi kita pinab pinabayaan Sana, Joseph, ganun din ang gagawin, gagawin mo habang buhay para masaya ang pagsasama yung dalawa. Maraming salamat po. At first, I felt that I'm letting him go. And I felt that I lost one third of my life without him. But I, but thinking on, of course, with tears falling on my face. 
but I realize I am gaining someone, a daughter I have never had. Bernice, my beautiful daughter-in-law, on behalf of the family of my ex-husband, um, I welcome you to our family. You know, um, I don't claim to be an expert this marriage counseling because of what I, I what happened to us but learning from experience my dear ones i firmly believe that respect to one to respect for each other is essential to the success of one's marriage and please listen to each other without argumentation my dear Joseph and Bernice, may we both uh, wish you a, a happy married life. And Abalayan boy, may your boy Pabis and Abalayan Malu. Don't worry, I know my son will take care of your baby. Bernie, welcome to our family. And take care of my son give love okay sa abale niya balayan ko no problem no problem okay thank you uh, my message is addressed to my new brother joseph now my brother-in-law you have uh, you have one my sister bernice we are, we are giving her away with the foolish hope that you will take good care of her. My family treat her as a fragile and precious jewel, and we expect you to do the same. Please don't hurt her, but make her cry with happiness. The bond between both of you must be true love, centered with God Almighty, with all the humility and understanding a loving husband should accord his wife. You must remember, we are always here around to support you. In making a happy future, both of you deserve. Congratulations and God bless you. Congrats, yun lang, lang masasabi. Kuya Joseph, masasabi ko lang, please take care of her kasi very special sa sami. Pero I know naman na you love her as much as we love her. So, bahala ka na sa amin. I just met Joseph and Bernice about a week ago. I think, and um, when I first laid eyes on them, I knew that they were meant to be together. So, we make a very good couple. And uh, my family and I, Lucille and Mark, that are here right now in the Philippines, came from Canada. Just to wish them a very happy life together. Thank you very much. Wala tayo ibang panalangin sa Kobol, kundi sana magsasama sila sa walang hanggang. At uh, kami mga ninong, hindi lang titingin sa maganda niyong kinabukasan, kung hindi babantayan nga namin, Joseph. Kailangan, wag kang gagaya kay Erap. <laughs> hindi pala, wag kang gagaya sa amin. <laughs> At... Uh, Kailangan alaga mo si Bernice. Oh, wala ng biro ah, kailangan alaga mo kundi babantayan. Talagang babantayan namin. Eh. Uh, so, yun lang ang uh, panalangin natin lahat. At sana wag sila maghiwalay at magsasama hanggang sa walang hanggang. Maraming po salamat sa inyo lahat. <coughs> My kuya Joseph and Bernice, uh, congratulations and uh, have a good life. Uh, to Bernice and Joseph, uh, I wish you all luck at uh, kagaya yung sinabi ni Governor Hoy. <laughs> Gayain nyo kami. <laughs> so I wish you all the uh, best wishes and uh, good luck. Uh, Joseph and uh, Bernice, 
you take care, you both take good care of each other, and uh, whatever, wherever, however, keep on praying and loving each other forever. Congratulations, my best wishes. I have, I think everybody has said what I have to say tonight, so you take care and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Well, for Bernice and Joseph, wala na akong masasabi, nasabi na si nila lahat. Ang wish ko lang sa inyo ay magkaroon kayo ng, ng maraming anak <laughs> at, at happiness in life and good health. Uh, I've been asked it often, what if you were to live all over again? Would you still marry Mrs. Baterina? And uh, I would not hesitate to say, yes, I will, and I would. And uh, they would ask me, what is uh, the secret of your happiness? And I would give them the poem of Sandor Hermati, and I would like to uh, let the couple hear it, hoping that somehow they will be able to take some cue from the, uh, this poem, The Bluebird of Happiness, trans this way. The poet with his pen, the peasant with his plow. It makes no difference who you are. It's just the same somehow. The king of his throne, the jester at his feet, the shop girl, the actress, the woman in the streets. It's a life of smiles and a life of tears. It's a life of hopes and a life of fears. A blinding torrent of heaven and a brilliant burst of sun, a biting tearing pain and a bubbling sparkling fun. And whatever you may have, don't envy those you meet. It's all the same. It's in the game, the bitter and the sweet. And if life doesn't look so cheerful, just show a little fight for every bit of darkness. There's a little bit of light for every bit of heartache. There's a little bit of love, and for every cloudy morning, there's that midnight moon above. To you, Joseph and Bernie, I hope you can get something out of that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, to Bernice, be a loving husband to Joseph, and Joseph, be a faithful husband to Bernice. Congratulations and best wishes. Bernice be a good uh, wife and Joseph uh, be a good husband and don't follow the word of your mommy. Don't give 75% to your wife. <laughs> give her 100%. <laughs> but if you give her 100%, always remember the 11th commandment. Thou shall not get caught. <laughs> do what you want to do, but thou shall not get caught. Because what she doesn't know won't hurt. Okay? Congratulations. Joseph and our daughter uh, Bernice, I wish you all the happiness in this world. And uh, you know, Joseph, I'm glad that uh, you married uh, our daughter Bernice, who, uh, because you are a very close friend, you have a, we have a very close family. We are very close and we are friends. Our families are friends. And so, I, I think it would not be hard for you for the adjustments. And uh, Bernice and Joseph, there are the three to make, uh, there are three to make, uh, make true love. It takes three to make true love. It is you, Joseph, Bernice, and God. Joseph, Bernice, congratulations. I wish you all the happiness. Take care of each other. Okay? And God bless you.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, to all the sponsors who came, I appreciate it a lot that you came. And to all our guests, thank you a lot. I know. I wish you good luck in your life as husband and wife. And to my brother Joe, um, congratulations. And to Ate Bernice, um, welcome to our family. My family and I would like to um, wish you both good luck and may God continue to um, bless you and guide you and your kids to come. Thank you. Hey man, uh, <laughs> sorry for that crappy toast there, it kind of took me off guard, but um, seriously, I do wish for your happiness twice, three times, how many times, but uh, thank you personally for inviting me over to the Philippines, getting to know my family, really, it means a lot to me, man. Congratulations and good luck with both, to both of you, thanks. Congrats. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, hi Joseph and Bernice. Uh, for me and Bong and Beas, uh, good luck. Kyle, come on. Love each other. And Joseph, uh, be a responsible husband. 